Hey, Chad, over here. An old army buddy of mine runs a business in Rockford. We saw action in Nicaragua back when the country knew what it was doing. Anyway, some cartel scum roughed him up yesterday. Said they'd be back for some of his stock today. He's gonna need backup. And in return, I'll give you a knockdown rates on any hardware you buy. I'd go myself, but the old sciatic is playing up. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> good luck. Hi guys, and welcome to part 48 of my GTA 3 100% walkthrough. Now this is a really cool mission that has two obtainable vehicles. One is a bulletproof Barracksol. I mean, holy shit, a bulletproof Barracksol. And a Rhino tank. A Rhino tank does not really count as a special vehicle. It's kind of rare. It is, I think, bulletproof and explosion proof. So I guess the Rhino is quite a unique vehicle as well. However, you can obtain it at any time just by getting a 6 star 1 to level. However, getting it from this mission is a lot easier than doing all that hassle, so to be honest, if you want to get a Rhino tank, I'd highly recommend you watch the video response, because you'll be surprised how easy it is. It takes you about 20 minutes, but no longer than that. And I'm going to um, get the bulletproof barracks all in this video, because all you have to do is complete or fail the mission, and um, since I've already got the Rhino tank, I can get away with just completing the mission. Because the next time you see the Rhino tank, you have to have a hundred percent completion. So, to be honest, um, I would get it now before um, it becomes too hard to get it later. What I mean by seeing the tank again at hundred percent is seeing the tank at the military barracks, which is this place here. It's where one of the hidden packages were. The reason I got an ambulance is because it means you can reach something. Just park it near these boxes. And go into the marker. Great phone to head, but I thought there'd be more of you. Can't believe those yellow belly bastards left me without proper cover again. Well, three arms are better than one, so grab whatever you need. Those Columbians will be here any minute. So, yep, better get all the weapons you can. These are really rare, powerful weapons, which you can only get from having a lot of hidden packages or knowing the weapon spawn points. Um, Yep, this is why the ambulance was a godsend, because at least now you can get the rare weapons up here, the Molotovs and the Flamethrower. Now this time, I'm not going to let Phil die, I'm going to fight off the Colombians like a man. Ah. Yeah, just stand somewhere around here, make sure that Phil doesn't get completely annihilated, because these Colombian guys are very, very dangerous. I'm sure you know that by now. See, look at that. I mean, shotgun took us both out. I mean, are you serious? Oh. Colombians don't stand a chance. I love the noises that one makes. That Colombian makes the most ridiculous wussy noises ever. I think there's only one left. So take the barracks all if you want it. I highly recommend you get it because you won't have another chance ever again. The tank you will have another chance but to be honest you should obtain the tank as well. And what I did is I took the tank to the vehicle crane, the emergency vehicle crane because um, at least um, that's one thing out of the way for the emergency vehicle crane quest. So um, check the video response for more details. Thank you. So I'll just drive back to Phil. Hey, if I've teamed up with you in Nicaragua, maybe I'd still have my arm. If you need any firepower, just drop by and take what you need from the lobby. Leave the cash under the bench. Now get out of here. I'll handle the cops. Right guys, that's it for the mission. 
we now have a bulletproof barracks all. Of course you can fail the mission and get it if you want, but to be honest, I decided to pass it. Because since I've already obtained the tank and taken it to the vehicle crane, I decided to just pass the mission and get the barracks all too. It's a really cool vehicle. Proper bulletproof army truck. Don't see that every day on this game. So now I'm going to drive it back to the garage and I'm going to store it with my bulletproof fireproof trash master and my exclusive colour black rumper. You're going to be like, how the hell do you store those three in the store tonight in the safe house garage? You can, and I'm going to show you how. Yeah, I always thought Ray, Ray's missions are the most exciting in GTA 3 because there are so many special vehicles in his missions. So yep, now we're coming into the safe house. Now, this is the way I do it. I normally store the trash master at the back. Basically what you want to do as well is just get another car before you do anything. Might as well just quickly get another car. Obviously be a bit careful because if the barracks all disappears, you know, you're kind of fucked. Hopefully it didn't disappear. That's good. There's a reason why you need another car. is because you have to actually force the garage closed. It's another tight fit, which doesn't quite fit properly. So there you go. Here are the vehicles I already have. Bulletproof Fireproof Trash Master and the exclusive colored black Rumpo. Now we've got another friend added to the team. I think it will be very helpful if I show you how I, how I store these samples of vehicles. So yeah, I normally reverse the trash master like that. Just jam it against the back of the garage. Since it fits really well. Obviously try not to jam it too much, otherwise you might have a tough time actually getting the damn thing out again. Don't worry, it's not stuck. It will always be irretrie it will always be retrievable if you know what you're doing. Now use the barracks all to jam the door open. Well that's it will always be jamming the door open because it can't fit perfectly. And then now instead of getting into the rumpo, push it. Because if you get into the rumpo you're gonna force the door closed and it might delete the barrack soul. Well actually it won't because the barrack soul is in the safe storage position. But obviously you don't want the door to close, you want it to be open to get the van in. And now if you want to, you can get into the van because the door is not going to close on you. And then yeah, just store it the way you want to. You can now fit another vehicle in there because there's space. I'm just going to park the van like that for now because it's kind of just easy. And now use your other car for a remote control to force the door closed. And obviously check to make sure the vehicles are safe. And there you go. That is what I call epic storage-ness in a such thing. Yup, there you go guys. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.